hey guys welcome back to the channel and to this final video in the series of the modification that i've done to my isuz bucky um it's raining quite a bit outside so during the video you'll probably hear some of the rain falling down so please just excuse the external noises i hope the audio is actually okay and in this video i'll be assembling the unit i'll be installing it and i'll be putting it to the test enjoy the video All right, so this will be the next thing to clean. She's all muddy. So let's clean that. Okay, so she's somewhat clean, not exactly as clean as what I would like it to have been, but it will take a bit too much time. This thing must actually be blasted to get all the hard mud out, you know? But anyway, it's cleaner than what it was, so. I'm cool with it. Right, so that's all talked up. I talked that uh, uh, 13 Newton meter, M8 bolt, so 13 Newton meter should be fine. So now I'm going to do the, the installation. Okay, so these are the leaf springs with the old bushes. This is the other end. And that's the walnut bushes there. So these, this is the other end. Okay, so I inserted the new poly bushes in the the top mount that goes against the sashi rails of the vehicle. This is the one side, and this is the other side. I put the the hanger bracket in, as you can see there, it's sticking out there. It shifted this this bush a little bit out here but that is that's not a big deal because when I put the the other part of the bracket on here and I tie the the nut it will push that bush back home so yeah these are in I'm going to install that side that side um, bracket now like this and then yeah let's carry on Okay, so I put the, the other hanger in this side, that side there pulled nicely together, I put the hanger in, the hanger in this side, so how I do it is I, obviously the bushes were installed and I put uh, dishwasher liquid inside here because that, that makes it nice and slippery and then insert it and then start 
start eating it from this side here and then obviously she goes in so I'll do exactly the same I'll put dishwashing liquid on here I'm gonna put I put some on the bushes here already so I'm obviously gonna pick this up and slide this in okay so just like that that's in there took a bit took a bit of a struggle I must apologize to you guys for not showing you the actual installation but because I'm working alone and my hands are getting dirty like this you know and I have to move around wiggle and heat and stuff you know I can't handle the camera and stuff at the same time but I'm sure you guys get the gist of what it takes to put these things in so the next thing is obviously just the bracket and of course the spring washer and a nut and then of course the other spring washer and nut and then I'm just gonna nip these up I'm gonna nip these up and then I'm gonna put the front section in and then once that's in I'm gonna bring the diff closer and and hang the, the diff on the leaf springs so guys so the inevitable had to happen to me the bushes supplied was incorrect I will show you in the short video clips the difference in the bushes the ones that were supplied to me was longer and the actual the amateur was too big for this model's bucket I don't know what model that that belongs to probably maybe the three liter or something like that you know like a heavier capacity uh, bucky so I actually jacked out the original ones in preparation to install the new ones obviously not knowing that they were different and then the, the suppliers never had the original size for me so and nobody actually I couldn't find it anyway so I just stuck the old ones back in so you'll actually see me assembling the diff assembling the leaf springs everything but uh, please note that the the original worn out bushes are back in the diff at the later stage I will change them if I don't find uh, those bushes anywhere I'll probably make my own polyurethane ones and that I'll do on a video and show you anyway let's carry on Okay, so the front of the leaf springs are mounted there. This back one is in. This is the driver side, back and front. And this is the passenger side, in front. And the back. So now I'm going to bring the diff closer and put that on top of the, the leaf springs.
Okay, so I got it basically in position. I'm gonna just line up the spigot now with this hole here. Okay, so I got the diff onto the spigots of the leaf springs. That side is that side is on as well, Lee. That side is on. Then we can see it, but maybe without the focus. Okay, so the rest is me. I'm going to box now everything up. I'm going to put the. I'm going to put these back on here. I'm going to put these back on here. I never changed the the wheel bearings yet. I know it seems silly seeing I had the whole diff out, but I actually want to put it back and actually drive the drive it in you know I actually want to bed the, the diff in before I do this and then should everything be fine there then I'll do this I'll, I'll take this out like one to one at a time and, and do the wheel bearings that I'll do in a different video but for now I'm going to assemble all the brackets and pipes it's exactly the opposite to the to when I took it apart so I'm not going to film film all that you saw it when I took it apart, it's exactly me reversing that process. I'll show you when everything is complete again. Okay, so <clears throat> it's all done now. The diff is back in the vehicle. Everything is tightened up. The prop shaft is on. All the bolts is, is on. Everything is boxed up. At the back here, everything is done pipes on everything is on so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, put in some oil put the wheels on give it a test run okay so in order for me to conclude this this video to make the comparisons I downloaded a app from the internet it's like a speed app or something like that and in the first video I'm doing about 2000 rpm and then I'm, that's me doing about 80 and I'll show you this clip now. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. And in the second video, you'll see on the app I'm doing about 80 kilometers per hour, and you'll see the comparison on the rev counter. So the rev counter I'm doing about um, I think 17, 17.50, round by day 17. And the speed is showing 65 to 68 kilometers per hour more or less. But the, the app is showing me doing 80, so there's a, a gain there. Okay, so in this video, before the modification, I'm doing about 2600 RPM and I'm doing a 100 kilometers per hour. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. This clip I'll show you now after the modification, I'm doing about Two four, just under 2500 rpm and the speedo is showing 88 between 85 and 88 kilometers per hour but the app is showing me doing 100 so there i got a gain as well okay my personal opinion for my final conclusion is I believe this is how these buckets had to come out. 3.9 is the perfect ratio. Your bucket doesn't rev too low. It doesn't rev too high. Too low, you might have issues using it as a workhorse. And you might have burn your clutch out and stuff like that. Too high, you'd probably be the same as before the modification. So now I'm reaching my 120, which was my goal. I'm reaching it very easily. I'm super chuffed about that. All you need to watch out for is the reading on my speedometer. If I'm doing 80, then I'm actually doing 95 more or less. If I'm doing 100, I'm doing about 115. So I might just watch that as I drive, especially when it comes to speed traps. So yeah, this is the end of it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.